to my channel. Hope you guys had a great new year. Today I am doing a get ready with me. I'm filming on my vlogging camera, so probably the quality is not going to be that good, but I'm doing the best I can. Today is the 20, the 20, today is the 31st of December, which means it's New Year. So I'm going to be doing a New Year's get ready with me. I'm showing you guys my hair, my makeup, the like before process of when I was tanning, everything pretty much from the day before until right now I'm going to be showing you. My outfit is on currently, but if you want to see it in full, then head over to my Instagram. There'll be photos on there of my outfit if you want to see, but a little sneak peek at the moment. So I hope that you had an amazing new year and happy new year to you all. I wish you the best of happiness and good luck in the following 2018. And please leave a thumbs up, please subscribe, start my new year off happy. That would make my day and I'll get on, stop rambling and get into the video. Let's go. So to start off my New Year's preparations and getting ready, I went ahead and tanned myself the night before. The tan which I'm using is by Loving Tan, it's in the dark shade. I love this because I already have a little bit of tan on my legs and arms from living in Barcelona, but this just gives me the added extra darkness which I need and love on a night out. So I just go ahead and put that all over and then the morning after, on the 31st, I headed into the shower and washed off the excess so I didn't smell and I wasn't patchy anymore. After washing my tan off in the morning, I had to get ready in the evening so I just tied my hair back, put on a nice clean bathrobe and also brushed my teeth. This is what I always do before I get ready, make myself feel as fresh as possible. I just popped on a playlist on my Spotify. If you want to follow my Spotify, I'll link it down below for you guys. So to start off, I'm going to be doing my eyes because I want to be super dramatic and I don't want any fallout onto my foundation. So I'm firstly taking a concealer, this one's by Rimmel and it's my absolute favourite for priming my eyes. I just put that all over and then I grab some tape and pop that along the sides so I can get a nice clear line. I do this a lot when I'm going out because I just want to make my life as easy as possible and it makes such a difference to your eye makeup. And then of course, I'm just using a powder here to set my concealer so it doesn't go creasy. Then for eyes, I'm gonna be using the Huda Beauty palette for most of this look because I got it for my Christmas and I'm loving it. So I'm taking the first shade which I've just pointed out and I'm taking that as a transition, taking that all over my eye, bringing it into the center, making sure, because this look is gonna be super dark, I wanna make sure we've got a good transition there to blend all my dark shades into. Then taking the one below, this is a really pretty dark cranberry colour and I'm blending that pretty much over the top of the lighter shade, just leaving it a little bit lower so I don't bring it up too high and I'm making sure it's nice and dark, particularly towards the outer part of my eye. Then taking a little bit more of a burgundy tone, I'm going to pop that in the crease and outer part using a little bit more of a precise brush. I'm making sure I raise my hand from an upper angle so any fallout goes down instead of brushing it up to my nicely blended crease and transition. Then also just to make it a little bit more darker, I'm just mixing in a bit of black with that burgundy shade and popping that just on the outside and then blending out with the previous colours which we've used so the black doesn't look too harsh. Then to spice up this look how I want it, I'm going to be grabbing the concealer which we used to prime with and taking a small precise concealer brush, I'm going to be drawing on a little bit of a half cut crease. And then I'm going in with these two shimmery shades from the Huda Beauty palette and packing them on the center of my eye and blending out to the rest of my eyeshadows. And then I'm taking our first transition shade and using that to blend the glittery shades with the darker shades so that it's not harsh. Then with this collection eyeliner, I'm gonna be lining the top of the cut crease where I put the top of the concealer. I had to go over this, I think, two times to get a really nice pigmented glitter, but I absolutely love this glitter and it's so precise. 
Then my sister showed me her beauty blender which she got for her Christmas and it's honestly massive. I thought I'd show you. Then I'm just pulling off the tape and then priming my face. This is the Bobbi Brown face base. It's so, so nice. It's pretty pricey, but I love it and it lasts forever. For foundation, I'm mixing the L'Oreal Lumi Magique foundation with some For Sally Rose Gold Oil. This honestly is the best combination on my skin. It makes my foundation look super flawless on top of my imperfections, my dry skin and also my spots. I just love this on a night out. For concealer, I have this new concealer which I'm trying out right now, which is a L'Oreal one. This is pretty light for my skin, but I am mixing it with some concealer from Lottie, which is a little bit darker as you can see, and I'm just blending that all out, making sure I don't drag it too high up my face, otherwise it'll change the colour of my foundation and make me look too pale. And then with my Laura Mercier powder, I'm just packing that on to the areas which I used concealer. I don't tend to bake, but I do like to pack as much powder as I can to really set my concealer and make sure it doesn't budge throughout the night. With my Kat Von D Shade and Light Palette, I'm just putting a little bit more powder around my cheeks and forehead so that when I blend my bronzer over the top, it doesn't go patchy. And this is me just singing along to my playlist. For bronzer, I always love the middle one from my Kat Von D Shade and Light. I haven't had this in Barcelona with me, so I was definitely going to be using this palette in this video. I was so excited to go back and use that bronzer. It's the best thing in the world. So I'm just blending that on my cheekbones to really chisel out my face and also blending that onto my forehead. And also, as you can see here, I'm bringing it up onto my cheeks because I wasn't keen to use blusher in this look, so I just blended that a little bit higher. And then, of course, I like to contour my nose. It always makes a difference, in my opinion. And then with the same shade, I'm going to blend that underneath my eyes as well to start off the shadows under my eye. So using a mixture of these two shades here, I'm just going to take a little bit more of a precise brush and drag that underneath my lash line so that I balance up this look and I don't look silly. For brows, I'm taking the Cabrow Pomade by Benefit. This is in the shade 3. It is my go-to, which I've been using for probably just under a year now, and I love it. So I'm just doing my eyebrows, as I usually do. Can't say I'm the best at doing eyebrows, but I do try my best. For my eyeliner today, I'm going to be using this one, which is by The Balm. This is, in my opinion, the best eyeliner out there if you're looking for a really easy liquid liner to use. Get yourself this one and it will change everything. So I'm just doing a wing, nothing too dramatic because there's already a lot going on on my eyes. And then for a highlighter, which I kind of forgot to do but I got back there, I'm going to be taking this one from Anastasia and blending that all on to the normal areas of highlighting. And then for lashes today, I'm going to be taking these ones. These are the Double Up by Ardell. They are super dramatic, but they're definitely appropriate for a night out in my opinion. And then underneath, I'm taking this mascara from Ico. Whilst I'm doing my hair, I'm just going to put some Carmex on my lips before I do lipstick so they don't get chapped and that the lipstick stays as long as I can. So moving on to my hair, I'm firstly parting it in the center and then taking my Numi 3-in-1 curling rod and curling my hair. For New Year, I decided just to curl without sectioning. I just grabbed sections as I went, starting from the back and moving forward, and I curled always away from my face. Sometimes I like to alternate so I get more of a messy look, but for New Year, I decided to all go in one direction, one direction, <laughs> away from my face. So I'm just gonna speed up this so you get the gist of what I'm doing, and I'm just curling my hair as fast as I could. Also, what I like to do is I like to leave the front two sections of my hair to last. You can see on my right hand side I've just left a part really straight. 
That's because I go in at the end and make sure that the two very front sections of my hair on each side are even or as even as I can. So I'm just doing those now as you can see. And then I'm just running my hands through my hair. I felt like it was a little bit too tight so I grabbed my brush and brushed through that. And then as you can see here I pick out little small pieces of hair and curl them individually and this just adds a little bit more texture and prevents your hair from turning into one big curl. That is my hair done. I also got changed as you can see and now it is time to do lipstick and finish off this look. So I'm taking a combination of a Body Shop lipstick and a Milani lipstick and I'm just mixing them together on my lips. I love the shade of the Body Shop lipstick, however it's a little bit too sheer for me. It's more of an everyday lipstick, but the combination with the Milani lipstick just makes it so much more better. And then on the top, I'm taking this lip gloss by Ted Baker and putting that over my lips to get my lips nice and glossy, and I'm done. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. This is my look completed. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Please hit the thumbs up button if you did. Let me know down below in the comments how your new year went and what you did, if you had a good time, and what are your new year's resolutions as well. And that's all I have to say. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon next year, even though you're watching this in 2018, but I will see you soon in my next video. Bye guys!